A lot of hype around Tailwind. It looks sexy and it lets you style directly in your markup using utility classes, but it isn't used in enterprise solutions, so it actually sucks? Well, Tailwind is a utility first CSS framework, and basically what that means is instead of writing your own styles in a separate CSS file like a child, you slap on classes like Flex, P4, and BG Blue 500 right into your HTML. It reduces the need for endless custom CSS files, helps you with consistent naming instead of your brilliant blue. BG title box convention and supports tree shaking so you don't end up shipping 5 megabytes of CSS into production. Plus it offers a consistent design system. If we look at the pros of a utility based approach there are plenty of legitimate reasons developers swear by Tailwind. Less fiddling with random CSS files, fewer collisions of that random dot container class and a sense of design uniformity. Now let's talk trade offs. Tailwind is phenomenal at aggressively bloating your HTML. Suddenly you're typing up 15 to 25 utility utility classes for a single component, BG Blue 500 text, blah, 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 and you still haven't added hover states. Also, by relying on these utility classes, you might forget why something is spaced, tinted, or styled in a certain way. Is it a heading or a subheading? Or if you're really into advanced CSS like inheritance, some gnarly S CSS or fancy selectors, Tailwind can feel like you're trying to do karaoke in a language you don't speak. You can do it, but it gets awkward. And yes, using the shadow DOM, CSS modules, or specialized selectors in a purely utility first approach can become let's say verbose for bigger projects or teams you'll quickly realize that your code base is a swirling sea of utility classes sure you've standardized colors spacing and fonts but your coworker is going to need a translator to figure out what's going on and at some point you'll be begging for something more like a button primary or alert danger Larvel and plausible analytics use tailwind in their marketing pages it looks clean it loads fast and for them it works meanwhile mega e-commerce sites could decide their brand and identity needs more than just a BG Red 500, which makes them write up a bunch of custom classes, kind of defeating the whole utility first dream. So I won't wrap this up with a spicier controversy than my clickbait title, sorry to disappoint. All I'm saying is Tailwind will pop up in your tech meetings. Maybe it will be great for your team or a dumpster fire for a design workflow. Just be aware of the lurking cons.